Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will be seeing what is chunking, which is there in NLP. So chunking is a process which is based upon uh, the POS tagging. So once you do the POS tagging, uh, followed after that, you basically do the chunking process. So it's very simple concepts which are there in NLP, which you should uh, know whenever you do some NLP projects. So let's jump into the main discussion. So uh, this uh, chunking is also called as partial or shallow parsing. So it is nothing but a process of meaningful extraction of short phrases from the sentences which are tagged with POS. Okay. So it is uh, self-explanatory. So these chunks are nothing but they are made up of words and the kinds of words that are defined by using the POS tags. So one could also define patterns or words that can't be part of the chunks and such words are known as chinks. So usually what we do at the end of this is like we basically uh, have a visualization or a tree-like structure. So inside that uh, we'll be having uh, a word tree or a document structure. So in that uh, if there is a counterpart or if there is a tag uh, that is associated with a particular word then it will be associated or will be linked to that particular word. Else if there are some punctuations or something else special characters then it will be left as it is. So that's what meant by this particular statement. So uh, how does basically chunking work? So as I mentioned before it works on POS tagging. So the input what basically uh, this chunking takes is POS tags and the output it gives as chunks. So that is the main takeaway of this and similar to POS tags there are a uh, standard set of chunk tags which are called as noun phrases or verb phrases NPVP. So based upon that we will write specific grammars uh, that is CFGs which are called as context free grammars. Uh, basically these things are used in lexicons, compiler constructions. So uh, there we basically use this thing. So importance, uh, why it is used? So it is used whenever you want to extract some useful or vital information from text such as locations or persons, names, etc. Say for example, if you are doing some document seg uh, segregation. So in that you have different tags like XML tags in nesting structure. So in nesting structure, there will be a specific uh, value that it would be taking. So in order to reach at that particular position and to take particular value, you have to write regular expression. So uh, in NLP, where you want to uh, take or extract such values, you basically use chunking for that. And for that, you basically uh, need to have POS tags. And on based upon POS, POS tags, you basically write this uh, regular expressions and we'll quickly see a python review for that how it's basically written okay so here is the python counterpart for this so what you need to have is nltk so we'll be doing everything most of the things uh, for nlp we'll be doing from nltk uh, then we'll import the pos tags so uh, that's followed from the previous video uh, based upon the part of speech tags and then uh, what we'll be requiring is a regular expression parser, uh, regex parser. Okay, so we need uh, these three things. So I'm taking a famous quote from Mark Twain. Uh, like if you tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. Okay, so uh, that particular token uh, or quote, I'm basically tokenizing. So I'll have a set of tokens here. So I'll just uh, run this. Okay. So you get the tokens here. Uh, okay. You get the tokens. Uh, once you get the tokens, now you want to attach tags to this token. So that is basic POS tagging. So it is as simple as that. So for all these things, uh, you'll get the POS tagging. Now here what we have not done is we have not done a check with the uh, stop word. So that activity we have not done. We have uh, just directly want to see how the chunking process work. Uh, at the end you can uh, go and do that thing also. That is just a one liner. Okay. And then what I am doing is uh, this is the important thing that is the grammar. So uh, as I mentioned in the uh, presentation there are two types 
that is np and vp noun phrase and verb phrase so uh, grammar is that thing you have to uh, write with uh, very carefully so here what i am writing is so how i define this particular grammar so that is my own custom grammar so it will be a noun phrase so from a entire particular uh, big sentence i'll be uh, building a decision tree or a word tree in fact and uh, wherever it's a noun phrase or whenever it's a noun so i'll basically make two different branches so consider it as a decision tree like uh, at the root you will have sentences then as you just go down the tree you will have certain noun phrases that is coming and on this noun phrase i have to uh, make two branches okay so on the left branch what i will have is i will have uh, all the tags which is labeled with the dt or it can be adjective that is jj and on the right uh, subtree uh, or on the right branch what i will have is nn that is the nouns so that is what this grammar means okay so then uh, what i will pass this uh, to a regular expression parser so that grammar is passed to regex parser so that is basically my chunks okay so now uh, what after i do is i just do the parsing of this uh, chunks so that i'll pass all the tags which i have that so uh, it will be like all the chunks associated with the tags so once you do the pos tagging and based upon that you will get the chunks so if i just print the result uh, it looks like this so for all the uh, tags which you get from the list uh, you have basically uh, this particular chunk okay so uh, this is the basic chunk so uh, and then uh, what you have is uh, uh, tree representation for this so that is also as simple so if i just run this you can get to know uh, the tree how it basically looks like so this is a tree structure so here you have the sentence and in that actually it broken down the words that is the tokens so these are the individual chunks so if you tell the truth then uh, for this particular thing there is no counterpart so there was a comma actually in the sentence so just considered it as it is and you don't have to remember anything okay so it is nothing but that and uh, the grammar that we wrote here that is on noun phrase you have to do two splitting so that is on the left side you have the dt and on the right side you have the nn that is the nouns so if there were some adjective then that would also come here okay so that's how this basic chunking process works and i hope you uh, got the concept of what the chunking is there in nlp okay so well that was all regarding about the chunking process in nlp so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video